Welcome to my series Making a Stuart Model Steam Plant. This is episode number 50, my method of mounting the boiler and gas burner to the steel base plate. It's been a strange day so far. I got up quite early because I had an appointment at a local health centre for my annual diabetic eye screening test. A young lady put some drops in my eyes to dilate my pupils, which really is very painful. It certainly stings the eyes, and just when I was about to say, excuse me, this is really painful, the pain suddenly disappeared. And after waiting a further 15 minutes for the drug to take effect, I went back into the room and had my retinas photographed. And now, as I edit this video, everything is looking very overexposed, but it will get better as the day goes on. I made this video yesterday, so everything was okay then. In today's video, I'm going to show how I fitted the boiler to the base plate. First of all, though, I did have to make some modifications. As you can see, on the base plate is some marking out blue, and this has been there for ages, because I marked out the position of the boiler a long time ago. Now I'm using a centre punch to mark the exact centre of the marks that I made. The great thing about centre punches is they cover up a multitude of sins. If you don't punch the hole in the correct spot to start with, you can move the angle of the centre punch and move the centre mark slightly. Once you get it in exactly the right position, then you hit it a lot harder. You can buy optical devices for marking out holes like this. I just rely on my eyesight, which is terrible today, but it was okay yesterday. Before drilling the holes in the base, I thought it would modify the boiler. Here I'm drilling out the holes in the mounting feet. To do this I'm using a small battery powered hand drill to enlarge the holes. Originally I could only get a 6BA bolt through here, which was a bit small I felt for something this size. I'm going to enlarge these holes so I can use 4BA bolts, and the normal clearance size for a 4BA bolt is 9 64ths of an inch. Alas, the world is not a perfect place, and anticipating some errors from my bad marking out as usual, and the drilling of the base plate that you will see very shortly, that's why I thought it was a good idea to just allow for a bit more clearance. I didn't want to go straight for the 5 seconds of an inch diameter drill, that's why I drilled through first of all using the 9 64th drill, so I had to put less pressure on when drilling. The last thing I want to do is to crack any of these mounting lugs. Now it's time to drill the piece of steel plate, and for this I'm drilling the holes 964ths of an inch, and as I've just said, that is the clearance size for a 4BA bolt. As I said at the beginning of this video, it's been a strange day so far. Not only did I have my diabetic eye screening test, when I got home and checked the comments on YouTube, there were absolutely loads of them. And some of them went back a few months, so I think there must have been some sort of a bottleneck in the system. Any messages that are sent to me via my YouTube channel come to me first, and I don't allow everything on there, because there are far too many idiots in the world. But I'm glad it's not like it was this morning every morning, I just can't afford the time. After I drilled all the holes, I countersunk the underneath of the plate. And in this clip, you can now clearly see that there are four 4BA bolts sticking up, one in each corner. In this clip, I'm double checking the accuracy of the position of the burner on the base plate. Fairly obviously, the arrow that I drew on the base plate tells me which is the front of the boiler, the chimney end. Now I need to drill some holes to mount the gas burner's holder onto the base plate. And I only really need to drill two holes in this to hold it in position. So I marked it out as shown, but then I thought I have a better idea. Then I crossed out the two marks and erased them with a piece of Scotch-Brite. You may be thinking, what's going on here? Well, I just had a better idea. I'm going to use four bolts to hold this part to the base plate. I intend to fit some thermal insulation between the brass holder and the base plate, and the four bolts will support the burner, and everything should be fine with minimum heat transmission through the base plate down onto the wooden board. As you can see from this clip, when I tried the boiler in position, it was a perfect fit. 
I drilled the gas burner holder and then marked through the holes onto the base plate, drilled those and once again countersunk the underneath. You can see here what it's going to look like. If I leave the bolts full length, they may be a little bit too long, I'll probably chop them down to the same level as the nuts, so when I put the burner in place, the burner will sit on the brass nuts. Everything's looking good, I'm going to check that the holder still holds the gas burner. And here it is, upside down, and to make sure that it's firmly held, I'm tapping the plate with a hammer, and there's no sign of the burner falling off onto the bench. And even when I hold the burner and shake the assembly vigorously, the burner still doesn't want to leave the holder, so that should be good. What I need to do next is to put the boiler in position over the burner to make sure it's in the right place, and yes it is. The gas jet is clamped in place in the Venturi tube using a long machine screw. I'm going to change this long machine screw for a shorter hexagon bolt, so you'll be able to get a spanner in there, to adjust the position of the gas jet in the Venturi. I'm sure that some viewers out there must be thinking, well, how is he going to fasten the base to the board? I'm not going to use fire cement, or cyanoacrylate adhesive, or even blue tack. I'm going to make two clamps from these two pieces of brass, and there is quite a simple explanation for this. I'm going to machine these two pieces of brass to become a pair of clamps which will clamp the steel boiler base to the main wooden baseboard. When I finish this steam plant, it's going to be shipped out to California, and I cannot ship it in one lump, because the package would be huge, and I doubt if it would arrive in one piece. I'm going to ship the plant to California using several packages. One package will contain the boiler, and the base plate, and the burner. I think I will leave the Stuart S50 and the Dynamo on the baseboard and probably I will leave the water tank and the condenser on the baseboard. But the Stuart Double 10 will be packed separately, as will be the lights and all the piping. By doing it this way, reassembly of all the parts on the wooden baseboard will be very simple. So now you can see the logic behind the way I'm mounting the boiler. Stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.